Hey everybody, this is Pastor Dan, and I'm glad you could join us for this segment of Ask Pastor Dan. Our series throughout Lent has been talking about being made in the image of God, and we've talked about that if we're made in the image of God, we're made with some very specific needs and some very specific patterns, very specific directions, how we're to relate to God and to each other. And so today I want to talk to you about being made in the image of God and connect it to what we call Holy Thursday or Monday Thursday and, and talk about what is offered to us on Holy Thursday and how it meets the need that we have in life. Well, I'd like to share a little illustration with you. Water. You know, a lot of people have all kinds of health conditions and sometimes, I, I, I stress sometimes, you know, go to the doctor if you have a problem. I'm not saying don't go to a doctor. But sometimes the biggest problem is that we're not getting enough water. You know, if you've got headaches in the afternoon, it may be due to not having enough water. There, there's all kinds of things that have to do with getting enough water. And our bodies were designed to need a certain amount of water in them to function correctly. In the same way, we've been designed to need some very specific things from God that are pointed to us on Holy Thursday. Two of the things that come out of Holy Thursday is the need for God to give to us and the need for us to receive peace and grace. As we look at Matthew chapter 26, verses 27 through 28, those particular verses talk about a particular time on Monday, Thursday, or Holy Thursday. And the scripture says that Jesus took a cup and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, or the new covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. This idea of the covenant that he's speaking of, or the new covenant that he's speaking of, is that he wants to give us himself. He wants to give us his grace. And he wants to give us, through that grace, then, his peace that will help us in life. Like water, we were designed to drink in his grace and his peace. The grace that he gives to us, it's connected to what he did on the cross on Good Friday also, but it's reminding that, that cup of the new covenant that his grace is poured out to us to give us the forgiveness that we need, to not have to go through life with guilt and shame, to not have to be reminded always of who we used to be, but to know that through his grace, we can be a new creature, a new creation, and that all of us need that newness of grace. Then there's also offered in that new covenant, his peace. And his peace is wonderful. It's peace that comes to us through God, and it gives us peace with God and with others. It's a peace that is an inner peace. It's a peace that helps us to have peace among people. It's a peace that helps us to feel God's presence and assurance when we go through some of the toughest times. It is the living water of Christ that offers us this grace and this peace that calms us when we face terrible and difficult things. So in the season of Lent, we are reminded we are made in God's image. And as we look at Holy Thursday, we are reminded that in the cup of the new covenant, we were created in God's image to receive grace and peace. I hope you'll pray about that. I hope you'll think about that. I hope you'll realize that that grace and peace can be yours in a newness of life that frees you from the guilt of the past. And it also assures you of his presence and his peace in no matter what you're facing. I hope this season of Lent helps you to draw closer to God, remembering you're made in his image and knowing that this grace and peace can be yours and it can be mine. Let, let's pray about that. Oh God, we thank you for this gift which is offered to us, this living water which is the new covenant, this gift that we need so much your grace that sets us free from the past and your peace 
that gives us assurance no matter what. It reminds us that God has this and has us in whatever we face. And it also calls us to live a better way, to live in peace with others. So, Lord, let us think about these things. Let us draw closer to you. Let us confirm we were made in your image. And that just as we need cold water to drink, we also need your grace and your peace. That's how we are made. And help us to remember it can be ours through Jesus Christ. We ask this, and we pray this together in the name of our Savior, Christ our Lord. And may all God's people say, Amen. May you have a deep, deep drink of grace and peace in this Lenten season. And we will see you next time.